Today we will be talking about Latinos impacting television. I'm Amarani Santos. Jose Delgado. Iris Delgado. Ronald Rivera. Um, how many of you guys watch television in Spanish? Well, Latin American television not only provides entertainment, but it gives back to the community by informing them on social <coughs> topics unlike American television. Um, it is important that Latinos stay informed on everything going on in the world because just as everyone else, we need to know what um, occurs and what issues we are facing. Um, we have networks where Latinos are being informed and there's two main ones that everyone should know. And also, we will be talking about how Latinos have had, uh, Latinos who have had a larger impact in the Latin American TV. So two television networks that everyone should know are Univision, which was founded by Emilio Azcarraga, and Telemundo, who was founded by Angel Ramos and René Anesmo. Um, these are two of the largest networks that are out there and which many of you should be familiar with. Um, so Latinos make up 17% of the U.S. population, and it is important to um, adapt to this change in the U.S. So uh, networks use things such as subtitles to be able to, to communicate with the Latino population. And other networks such as HBO Latino and CNN in Espanol exist just to inform Latinos on um, issues. Uh, so one one person that really has uh, impacted the Latino television and um, has uh, has um, helped uh, Latinos stay informed has been uh, Jorge Ramos. Uh, he's worked he works with uh, Univision, one of the na nation's fourth largest uh, networks. He has been a huge help to immigrants by helping them keep them uh, stay informed with the current laws and. Um, new ones that are occurring, and also uh, with the current um, immigration reform. Uh, he also provides resources uh, where Latinos could go and uh, learn more about, like I said, the new laws and uh, things that might affect them or things that shouldn't affect them. Uh, he's, re uh, he's also received mo uh, multiple awards for all the things he's done for Latinos and uh, for staying involved with the Latino community and helping them out. Uh, he's also written a, a novel that um, talks about how immigrants uh, struggle to get to the U.S. It's called uh, It just talks about how they cross and uh, while trying to cross they what they go through and struggle and most, most of them don't even make it uh, across the border. Here's a video that uh, where he's in, trying to interview Donald Trump and he gets denied. Okay, who's uh, next? Yeah, please. Excuse me, sit down. You weren't called. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Go ahead. No, you're not. You haven't been called. Go back to Univision. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sit down, please. You weren't called. Yes, go ahead. Hi, Chip, yes. Excuse me, sit down. You weren't called. Sit down. Sit down. So another person that has been a big part of the uh, American uh, Latin American television is Marie, uh, Maria Elena Salinas. 
Uh, she is known as the voice of the Hispanic America um, and has been very also very involved with the Latin community and has served as a voice to those who don't have one. Uh, both Jorge and Elena have uh, <clears throat> have defended immigrants' rights and served as a help. And like I said, they served as they serve as vo a voice to Latin America. So another person is uh, George Lopez. He's a comedian and he had his own show. Uh, and his show was called George Lopez. He showed what it was like for Latino growing up in the U.S. and uh, east side Los Angeles. He showed the struggles they had to go to as a kid and as a young adult, uh, such as racism, poverty, discrimination. Um, he never had the opportunities that other kids had, like the kids from the U.S. Um, he's also a stand-up comic. And his comedy shows usually just about comedy, that's what you go see. But George Lopez always included many of his political views and other things like to empower the Latino community. So although it was a comedy show, the audience always felt super empowered when uh, George Lopez brought up issues that Latinos face and empowered the audience. And he always wanted to motivate kids to show them that if he can reach his dream, which he turned into a goal, that they could do it as well. George Lopez also states his opinion on Donald Trump and other presidents along the, before Donald Trump. He shows uh, that he doesn't agree with many of the things Donald Trump has said about Latinos. He also has boycotted Donald Trump by not going to places that are owned by him or promoting him as well. Uh, he was offered jobs on shows such as The Apprentice, which is Donald Trump's show, but he, he uh, turned it down because he does not support it. So basically, as stated before, Latinos have impacted their community in positive ways, whether that be through television networks, such as Univision, Telemundo, HBO, Latino, and CNN Latino, um, or involvement in their communities, like who stated, Jorge Ramos, Maria Elena Salinas, um, and George Lopez. And they have used their platform to empower Latinos throughout America. What do you guys think? You will do. Thank you.